Hey guys, Whitney here and welcome to Tuffle Pros. On today's call, I sat down with our recent grad, Megumi. Megumi is currently a teacher in Japan. Um, she, she started teaching, decided mm, maybe I need to take a step back and get my TEFL certification. And uh, so I feel like her story is very relatable. There's a lot of people in that position uh, who kind of go through that process and in the end decide to uh, go back and get their TEFL um, to help them feel more confident in their career. So if that uh, is relatable to you, if you've been thinking about perhaps moving to Japan, um, doing some English teaching there or some language assistant uh, work in that space, then sit back, relax, and enjoy hearing about Megumi's experience on the TEFL Pros Plus course. Hey, Megumi. Hi, Whitney. How you doing? Great. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, happy to see you too. Congratulations on graduating from the course. Yay. Very exciting. Boop, boop. Thank you so much. <laughs> I got it in the mail two days ago. So when I got it, I was so excited. Oh, <laughs> Couldn't yay. wait to open it, show it everybody. <laughs> I need to frame it. <laughs> oh, yes. That would be exciting. Yes. yes. Oh, well, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day. I know Megumi, for everyone watching, she is in Japan. So we are dealing with extreme time zone differences here. So I really appreciate you waking up uber early to hop on a call with me and just share share your thoughts with everyone. Oh, it's experience. my pleasure. Yeah, it's bright out now, but I did wake up and it was dark. I was like, oh, I hope it turns light out for the video. <laughs> yes, well, thank you. Oh, well, you know, first thing that I always like uh, to ask folks is just to give a little background for people watching. So if you could maybe step us through kind of where you were at prior to jumping into your TEFL. Yeah, sure. So I was recently hired um, earlier in the year at elementary school. So I teach grade three to six as an ALT. But how that works, I'm not the main teacher. There's a homeroom teacher and I just assist. And depending on the homeroom teacher, they I want you to be really involved and just do everything or other ones, they just you're, you're a tape recorder when they need you to pronounce things properly. And that's fine, regardless of where my role stood. I wanted to be more prepared. And from day one, I realized I wasn't really enjoying it, but I was quite unsure of myself and second guessing and um, various times in my life. I was teaching young children from preschoolers to adults in a language school. And there was very much, you know, a wing it style. I was given always a textbook and a curriculum. So I wasn't completely lost. I had, you know, um, areas, goals that they wanted me to achieve, but I did have to wing it. And I was so over that. I was like, okay, I want to know what I'm doing. I want to have more self-confidence. And Japan does value having a paper to show that you've done the work and you've studied so you know how to teach. So that was also a main point. And I wanted to yeah, I just wanted to be able to go into the classroom and know what I'm doing. I want to pick up a textbook and know how to break it down so that it can provide value to the students, value to the students. That's what I really, really like was very important. And I knew that getting TEF certified was an important aspect to providing more value to the students. Wow. Yeah, I can yeah. so relate to that feeling of, you know, hey, my, my heart's in the right place. I want to do a good job, but you know, it's stressful to be in that environment without any training to kind of yeah. guide you um, yeah. through it. Like you can, you can spend a ton of time mm. planning things and preparing, but there's that wonderment of like, am I planning it right? Am I doing what I need to be doing for my students? So I exactly I think very relatable kind of that process that you went through. And also I can see, I've seen firsthand people who have gone through certification program, whether it's CELTA or TEFL and they're teaching and um, you know, their, their skill level is very different from people who like myself before was teaching just purely 
based on being a native English speaker, that range of skill, I, I was very easily able to see that. And um, my son was one example. We hired an English tutor for him and we went through various tutors and to, to find the right fit. And, uh, you know, in the end, the skilled teacher stood out above everyone. And I wanted to be the skilled teacher. <laughs> I didn't want to just be a native English, English speaker who got the job based on my speaking skills. I wanted to actually have the, uh, the skills <laughs> to yeah, teach. The, the qualifications to back the qualifications, it up. qualifications, exactly. I I love that you use that example because oftentimes people um, will ask us, uh, mm. you know, on our side, they're like, okay, so if I'm in a country where English is not the native language, do people like seek out tutors for their kids or family mm. members or for themselves? Like if it'll help them in their career? And I'm mm. like, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. They do. yeah. I mean, you can get lucky definitely where people are really happy to hire you in, within Japan simply based on your English speaking skills. But if they're very serious about their children or themselves learning, they will seek out people with proper qualifications. Yeah, and I think as a teacher, you would just go into the classroom feeling more confident and you wouldn't be um, second guessing yourself as much. So I think there's great value in getting a TEFL certification. Mm. Mm. So you, you kind of, went into it like okay let me get started teaching first and then yep. you have this experience of hmm, maybe I need to take a step back and get my TEFL so you're really you were approaching uh, I feel like the research side of things with a lot of knowledge already like because you you had that experience of like okay no I really need this and I've mm -hmm. worked with people um, either at school or uh, personally with your son yes. who had gone through a certification process so what was the research side of it like for you Megumi? So I was really lucky my friend actually did a lot of research before and I asked her because I knew that she had gone through a lot of online programs so um, I was back and forth with her and she immediately said TEFL Pro even though she hasn't actually done the course she said if I would ever get TEFL certified I would go with TEFL Pro you know their price range is right and they hit check all the boxes for all the modules that you would learn and you get in-person calls and you get audios, you get videos. So of course I took a look at the website and I did the two day course and I had a nice coaching call with you. Of course, I still had to, you know, research and weed out any other options. And I found, you know, the, you, there's so many options out there. And I, I went back to my son's tutor and I showed him a couple <laughs> various options. <laughs> he he settled, settled to per certifies. I'm like, okay, he'll be able to know which one is accurate. And he said, you know, I didn't even look at them, but I can tell based on the ones um, that were on the cheaper scale that they wouldn't probably won't provide as much value to me because he himself did that. He went through um, a more cheaper option and he realized from day one that this was not going to teach him what he wanted to teach. So then he went back to doing more research and he gave me a parameter of um, things that I should be looking for, proper lesson planning skills. He also mentioned CCQs and ICQs. You've got to learn those. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that because yeah. we had a call and she yeah. was like, do you teach us CCQs? And I was like, whoa, this lady knows her stuff. She's asking. No, I had to look up my notes. <laughs> I was like, what is CCQ? That's ICQs. <laughs> those are comprehension checking questions yes. for those of you who are watching. Yes. You need to know how to do them. So. <laughs> but just like you said, like they're very useful in your everyday life. Yeah. So, um, and another one was, I mean, he did say to be able to teach in-person classes and to be evaluated that way was also important, but your class provides um, observation. I'm, I'm not sure the exact call, but you can see the actual classroom recording, which I think was really valuable. And then another key thing was being able to ask somebody questions, um, you know, having that 
that experience where the teacher, I mean, you're doing an online course, but it's very similar to if it were in person. So I really felt TEFL program hit all those boxes and checked all those. And actually, after talking to you, I was really sold after the coaching calls, because I really thought you made it personable. And I knew that I could add to any questions if I needed to. And the, um, the the previous the recordings of the graduates mm -hmm. were also really really helpful I watched every single one before I signed up <laughs> everyone you just looked have, like they had so much fun you must have been <laughs> like oh Mark had a similar experience to me yeah exactly the same thing as you yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right he was he was hired and then he got certified yep. yeah and he also had the same sort of you know, concerns or issues within the classroom that I can relate to because Japan I mean Japan it, it's it's getting there it's it's a slow process but their their teaching style is still very much teacher focus rather than student focus but their their textbooks are changing and it's a slow process but I was really excited to see that TEFL Pro is a teacher no student centered focused yes. <laughs> program and it taught it teaches it you how to create lesson plans based on that mod that format which i really enjoyed yeah good so you did all that research you had all these great criteria that your <laughs> friend helped you compile i love that i let you you did your research and you you kind of used your resources wisely you know who do i know to reach exactly. out exactly that can uh, tell me uh, some pointers here um, because you're right like just like um, your son's tutor that that experience that he went through a lot of people are like mm. oh well they say that I can just buy it for 50 bucks on group. Yeah. I guess I should just do yeah. that. And then the deeper into it you get, it's like, oh, wait, I'm actually trying to start a new career. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> maybe, maybe I need some training under my yeah. belt. Yeah. yeah. You don't want just a printout to read on your own and go walk away with certificate. You want to actually have exercises. And initially I was nervous about it, but being graded at the end, having the assignments at every single module and having the, um, the, what do you call it? Where you post up on the Facebook, the, um... Oh yeah. So we offer like accountability. <laughs> oh posts. yeah. That one. Yeah. Accountability. If, posts. if you want to use it, you know, mm. you can, you can hold yourself accountable in a variety of ways. <laughs> so. I took that very seriously though. I, I knew that I needed to finish the assignments before I move on to the accountability post. And you recommended that you said to go through every single step. You recommended going through that before you go on to the next step, module. the next modules. Yeah. And I think that was really important, a, a very important part. And you helped, you really helped, um, you know, uh, guide, guide us and guide me through the process before. So I liked how helpful you were. So it was, yeah, I, I'm, re I don't regret it. I think TEFL oh. Pro is amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you, Megumi. Well, you were such an awesome student, Megumi, you guys, she was like sending in questions for coaching calls every week and no. just like keeping herself active in the course, which I really think is very important um, as a part of that learning process to not just study um, on a regular schedule, but actually think about it and say, hmm, is there something here that I'm not understanding or that I'd like more information on or, um, you know, why did a teacher do that in a classroom video? Like, what's the purpose of that? So um, you were really thinking through these scenarios and how they would apply to your life as a teacher right now. Um, but your wow. program... No, sorry to interrupt, but your program really helped me be able to think about that. You had these, these prompts, these questions, asking questions doesn't come naturally for me. So I really did have to dig down and to think about what, what was questioning me. Like I'm just someone who will just sort of absorb everything and be like, okay, I got it. And then later on, maybe a question will come. So you are actually the, the prompts and all the questions that built up to the final questions really helped me. And I think that was very key to be more effective in studying. 
Mm -hmm. retaining the information. So I really enjoyed that about your course. It wasn't just finish everything and then, okay, what's your question? (laughs) Good, good. Well, we do try um, as we, sometimes on coaching calls, guys, we joke about this, that it's kind of like layers within layers, but we do try to train you using the same techniques that you then use in the classroom with your students. Yes. Um, So hopefully you know, in a communicative style of uh, language learning, you're prompting people to ask questions and participate. So um, I love that you say that, that like the prompts on the course prompted you to participate more and think yeah. uh, more deeply um, about that process and experience that you're going through. That's great. And the coaching calls were so much fun, even though I wasn't able to join them. I wasn't able to join any of them because of the time difference. I was able to put my question in and I knew it would be answered and I wanted to watch them to get my answers. And they were so much fun. I wished I was able to join them. And I saw you doing a lot of ICQs and CCQs throughout the coaching calls. I was like, okay, that's very smart, Whitney. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I tried. There was a lot of pauses, you know, letting the student think about things. Yeah. 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 So. Even well, within the coaching calls, you were you were teaching. I I did wish. Oh, I wish I saw Whitney in one of the observation classrooms. But I was like, but actually, I saw her at every single coaching call teaching. <laughs> yes, when we were filming all of those, I was running around like a crazy person organizing things. So I wasn't in I wasn't in the classroom, but we mm-hmm. have lovely lovely folks that you get to watch on those uh videos and- I love them they're terrific all of them with their unique personalities brought different elements to the classroom I love that I love that you had a variety of teachers in the observation classrooms and different levels of students different accents it was yeah. a really nice variety I I love them so much I replaced my Netflix time with classroom observation time and I didn't I mean there's sometimes I was like oh, I'm looking for to going back to relaxing on the sofa but I honestly really enjoyed watching those (laughs) you can like screen share the or what is it like mirror them onto your television mirror them onto my television yeah exactly this is our this is our tv time we're gonna watch a classroom observation (laughs) you're like oh see that ccq that jeff just asked what do you think (laughs) Right now it's doing everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. So, so the course was just so fun. I didn't, you know, I'll tell you, I wish you told me that um a lot of TEFL pros they're in person and they're within a month. Uh did did you say that? Like the yeah, original in, in person you, classes? Mm. Mm-hmm. In person classes um typically take place within a four week period. Um so yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I, when I was going through the course and um, just trying to complete it, wanting to complete it because it was so interesting, I wished I was in one of those, you know, where yeah. I can dedicate my time because I was having so much fun. I didn't want to pull myself away. Aww. All my uh, other household responsibilities were just an interruption to my study time. <laughs> So it was, yeah, it was so much fun. It was, oh. I really enjoyed my experience at TEFL. Well, we're hoping that we get you on some coaching calls during your summer break. Oh, I hope so too. That would be really fun. We want to Yeah, see that would be yes. a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All of Megumi's classmates were like, we love Megumi's questions. We love that she sends in questions every week. We want to meet her. <laughs> <laughs> but those the classmates were really helpful to me too. Every single coaching call with Callie and Kelly, everyone, you pro- they provided such terrific insight and input and different ideas that I never thought about. So there was so much value in those videos. And I'm excited that even though I finished the course that I still have months of watching the recordings, yes. <laughs> yes. my Netflix time will still be, my TV time will still be there. <laughs> <laughs> with Temple Pro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, yeah. any any like last words of wisdom that you would share with folks out there who, you know, maybe they're interested in coming to Japan. Maybe they are like just in general kind of on the fence of like, 
well, I don't know, maybe I'm headed to a country where a TEFL isn't required. Mm. So like, mm, I'm, I'm a fluent speaker. I'm a native speaker. I don't know if I really need to go to the trouble of studying all this new stuff, like just any, any advice that you would throw out there for folks? Before deciding to do it, I was on the fence for a, l- a couple months and I was thought, why am I waiting? You know, why am I just thinking about it over and over and over when I know that I want to do it? I knew that getting TEFL certified would broaden my options and I would have more confidence. So why was I just not doing it? There is no, you know, I think a lot of people think about time and money and I think yeah, it's it's worth it in the end. You there's no downside to getting a TEFL sort of certification, especially with TEFL Pro, because you will walk away feeling really confident and and sure of yourself. Yeah. I don't think people will walk away regretting their experience with TEFL Pro ever. And if they did, then maybe then no, I can't even think about that because there is there isn't that option. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I mean, I also was worried about time, whether I would be able to do it within, and my goal was three months. Mm -hmm. And um, a friend, again, also gave me good advice. She said, just 10 minutes here and there, you can do it. And then, you know, surprisingly, I was able to finish in a much shorter time. So it's completely doable for even, you know, working parents. And um, yeah, you're going to have that, that knowledge in your head as well. And you'll have that paper at the end of the course. So people should just, people should really just do it. And TEFL Pro is very generous because you guys give us a year actually to finish the course. So there's no, a year and a half. So there's no excuse. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, we broke it down also financially, you know, like when I would actually pay it off with my current job. I'm only working part-time, so it's not like it's a huge amount, but it would totally pay off very easily within mm-hmm. two, three months. So it was, um, it was a no brainer. Yeah. Everything sort of just um, equals out in the end. And you, you're, you finished feeling really good about yourself. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thanks so much. Megumi. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed my time in TEFL Pro.